Hi, good morning. Welcome back. This is Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl Faith. Here we are teaming together to restore, as usual, physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If it's your first time, a special welcome to you. If you are returning or you are a subscriber, an extra special welcome to you. This particular video is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional. Here we choose our best sacrificial time each day for the week and we turn up at that time to spend at least one hour with God every single day. So for this season of our one hour alone time with God kickstart devotional, we are being guided by the book, The Great Controversy, one of the books in the Spirit of Prophecy writings. We are guided by the 1888 edition alongside the King James Version of the Bible. So we invite you to come and join us and also to peruse the channel for other support such as exercise tips, juicing tips, mental health talks. We're happy to have you. Do consider subscribing if you are not yet as the Holy Spirit guides you. Let us pray and go further into our routine. Again, a very special welcome. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to come before you, to team together in our effort, Father, on our, on our um, quest to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. Father, it is indeed a struggle. And we pray, Father, that you'll give us what we need for each faculty to do the best we can as stewards of this body and this soul that you have blessed us with. Father, we beg and pray that as we continue to invest, Father, you will bless us and you will strengthen us and you will improve us until we are truly fully whole. Father, as we come now for today's portion, we pray that you'll give us the full portion that is able to make us holy, righteous, and ready to meet you when you come. Starting here with our one hour time, we pray that you'll take our minds, Father, to the place that we need to be with you so you can speak to us directly. Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. Bless us now and keep us with our eyes fixed on you in such a time as this when knowledge has increased and immorality is right behind it in increasing keep us faithful keep us pure and keep us surrender in Jesus' name amen so we're going to go straight into our memory text next our memory text for this week's um one hour alone time kickstart um is romans 4 and verse 11 and it says thou art worthy o lord to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Again, Romans 4 and verse 11. For, sorry, thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. We pray God will help us to recall this text in due season, to glorify his name, and to edify souls, even our very own souls we now go into our reading of the great controversy we're going to be picking up at um page 285.3 to if 285.3 is where we're going to start off our reading this morning so we're still in the chapter chapter 15 the french the bible and the french revolution let us read atheists infidels and apostates oppose and denounce God's law, but the results of their influence prove that the well-being of man is bound up with his obedience of the divine statutes. Those who will not read the lesson from the book of God are bidden to read it in the history of nations. When Satan wrought through the Roman church to lead men away from obedience, his agency was concealed and his work was so disguised that the degradation and misery which resulted were not seen to be the fruit of transgression and his power was so far counteracted by the working of the Spirit of God that his purposes were prevented from reaching their full fruition. 
The people did not trace the effect to its cause and discover the source of their miseries. But in the revolution, the law of God was openly set aside by the National Council. And in the reign of terror which followed, the working of cause and effect could be seen by all. Now, when France publicly rejected God and set aside the Bible, wicked men and spirits of darkness exalted in their attainment of the object so long desired, a kingdom free from the restraints of the law of God. Now, because sentence against an evil work was not speedily executed, therefore the heart of the sons of men was, according to Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 11, and let us read it, turn your Bibles, Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 11, so due to the lack of restraints, restraint, this was accomplished as the Bible would have said it. Ecclesiastes 8 verse 11 says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. All right. So there to comment, it is saying clearly, when evil works come up um, within our experiences and we turn a blind eye to rebuking it, then it becomes a part of the natural experience of that group of people or person and the heart becomes likewise lined up and, and um, sealed within the desire and the habit of doing evil. All right? So let us not be shy in rebuking iniquity, evil, unrighteousness. As the Holy Spirit leads us wherever it exists, whether it's in our families, our friendships, our churches, wherever, our workplaces, wherever we see it, as the Spirit bids us with its perfect timing to shun evil and to, and to lift up righteousness. Let us continue to read. But the transgression of a just and righteous law must inevitably result in but the transgression of a just and righteous law must inevitably result in misery and ruin. Though not visited at once with judgments, the wickedness of men was nevertheless surely working out their doom. Centuries of apostasy. Centuries of apostasy and crime had been treasuring up wrath against the day of retribution. And when their iniquity was full, the despisers of God, the despisers of God learn too late that it is a fearful thing to have worn out the divine patience. The restraining spirit of God, which imposes a check upon the cruel power of Satan, was in a great measure removed, and he whose only delight is the wretchedness of men, was permitted to work his will. Those who had chosen the service, those who had chosen the service of rebellion were left to reap its fruit until the land was filled with crimes too horrible for a pen to trace. From devastated provinces and ruined cities, a terrible cry was heard, a cry of bitterest anguish. France was shaken as if by an earthquake. Religion, law, social order, the family, the state, and the church all were smitten down by the impious hand that had been lifted against the law of God. Truly spoke the wise man as he did in Ecclesiastes and Proverbs. Proverbs 11 verse 5, which says, Proverbs 11 verse 5, let's find it. And it reads, The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. Also, truly fulfilled was the wise writing of Ecclesiastes 8, verses 12 and 13. Let us find it. 
Ecclesiastes 8 verses 12 and 13. It says, Though a sinner do evil an hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him, but it shall not be well with the wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before God. In other words, short doom and and um, degradation is promised for those who persist and pursue after evil consistently without repenting. All right, so we're going to do another paragraph before we close. So let's continue. All right, so let's continue. God's faithful witness is slain by the slain by the blasphemous power that, as according to Revelation 11, ascended out of the bottomless pit, were not long to remain silent. After three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell upon them them which saw them that's from revelation 11 and verse 11 and after three days and a half the spirit of life from god entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them it was in 1793 that the decrees which abolished the christian religion and set aside the bible passed in French in the French assembly. Three years and a half later, a resolution rescinding these decrees, thus granting toleration to the scriptures, was adopted by the same body. The world stood aghast at the enormity of guilt which had resulted from a rejection of the sacred oracles, and men recognized the necessity of faith in God and his word as a foundation of virtue and morality say the Lord as written in Isaiah 37 Isaiah 37 and verse 23 Isaiah 20, 37 and verse 23 says whom hast thou reproached and blasphemed and against whom hast thou exalted thy voice thy voice and lifted up thine eyes on high even against the Holy One of Israel Also, Isaiah, so that was Isaiah 37 verse 23. Also, Jeremiah 16 verse 21 says, Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know, I will cause them to know mine hand and my might, and they shall know my name is the Lord. All right. So this was the experience of France who had forsaken um, the righteousness of Christ and his blueprint for the same. And the 1793 decrees had sealed it. And of course, they would have experienced the turning away of the restraining power of God that can keep the devil into check. We're going to stop here for today and we go into our meditational hymn and do stanza two. Our meditational hymn is still 359, Hark the Voice of Jesus Calling. If you cannot cross the ocean and the heathen lands explore, you can find the heathen nearer, you can find them at your door. If you cannot speak like angels, if you cannot preach like Paul, you can tell the love of Jesus, you can say he died for all. Amen. Let us pray to close. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for giving us such truth and light. Father, we pray that we will not slight any of it. May all of us here who saw 
desire to confirm the truth about these histories and further to prepare ourselves for our dark experiences that are either already upon us or are about to come, especially the last day's events, Father, may we all be ready to meet it wherever, whichever degree and extent of it we will experience in our lifetime. And Father, may we be found righteous and victorious at the end. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Please continue for one hour, you and God alone. And remember to search like the barons, as if your life depend upon it, the written words of God, and see what it is that you need for your soul's salvation because it provides all that we need. God bless you and see you tomorrow.